Hey guys, Simon here with Oregon Fly Fishing Blog and Caddis Fly Shop. Today we have this nuclear comet for you. This is like a Chinook fly for fishing down low right when they're coming in. Um, we're kind of showing off some new materials here. Um, this stuff, this black, small black legged squish chenille, um, comes in a lot of different sizes. It's kind of a little newer take on one of the newer products from Hairline last year. And then this one is definitely new, this uh, Badger saddle, um, saddle hackle. So it's great for buggers and collars and stuff. Um, it's got the black core, so it's Badger. I can give you a, a look here. Um, so we're using some of these new stuff, just showing, showing it off on a, on a uh, Chinook fly. So I'll get to it. So if you've been watching our videos and tuning in and you like this stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe and let us know what you think of the videos in the comments or if there's something you want to see, feel free to drop it down below and we should be able to make it happen. Um, but taking a closer look at this fly, the tail is um, calf tail. The body, like I was saying, is this new product from Hairline, black legged squish chenille. Um, this is the olive core. There's several different colors and sizes. I think it goes small through large. Um, this is just a, a new take on a on a other new product uh, Hairline made last year. And then the other new product in this is this Badger saddle from Hairline. Um, this is chartreuse, but it you know it has the dark core um, that Badger saddles have. So um, just some new stuff we're showing off here. Um, and getting started here, we're tying this on a Gamakatsu hook, the SL12 short. Um, you can tie it on the longer shank if you want, if you don't want as, uh, as chubby of a body here. Um, but this is a, a hook a lot of guys buy for Chinook um, around here. So I know it's a super stout hook, it's really strong, and this is a short version of it, so they do make another one. Um, for this thread, I'm using uh, Vivas 150 Denier GSP. Um, you know, 100 should work fine, but just this GSP is nice because it doesn't build a huge body and it's really strong. You can crank on it. I like to use it for flies that are going to get torn up by big fish. Um, and I'm putting in right here um, bead chain eyes, size medium. Just kind of cross wrapping it right now making sure it's not going to go anywhere. Nice thing about this fly is it's super quick, so if you got to bust a bunch out before a trip, you know, it's super, super fast to tie. Um, and so first, the tail of this is a calf tail. This is chartreuse. Um, and you're going to take a pinch of it about this large and have it running out of the back. And you can vary the tail length depending on you know what you need. Um, you know everyone likes it different length for this kind of stuff um, based on what's worked for them in the past and different conditions and stuff. Um, but as a rule, should not keep pretty small stuff right when they come in. So some people like to tie these extra small. Um, this is a size four hook also um, that I'm using. Um, people sometimes use twos. Sometimes people use sixes. Um, just kind of depends on what you're tying and what exactly you're doing. Okay, so now that we have this tail in, um, we are going to put a thin piece of wire in. This is um, uni soft wire, size small. This is just to help hold the uh, squish chenille together. Um, you know, those Chinook, when they eat stuff, you know, they can chew stuff up. They're pretty big fish and they're kind of toothy, so just so that you don't have to only get one use out of the or one uh, you know single use fly you can kind of add wire and other things to bulk it up so we're going to take a small section of this stuff it kind of stretches so you can kind of stretch it to make it more sparse um, we're going to tie a little bit of this in I like to start it on the top because this fly will be flipped and um, because the eyes will as it keels it'll get flipped over And if you have a rotary vise, it's really helpful for wrapping hackle. You can kind of flip it over on stuff like this and avoid the hook point. I think it's a little bit easier. Got 
that, and then we will wrap this wire around just to kind of secure this. Okay, and then the last thing we are going to do is put one of these um, Badger Saddle Hackle on chartreuse. So I like to, um, you know, you can kind of measure what section you want it to be in. Um, and then I like to pull some of the feathers off the quill right here to prep it. And I like to tie it with some space. That helps me get like a good wrap, personally. Um, and then we will kind of wrap this collar as much as we need and then we can trim off the excess. You can make it as heavily hackled or as sparse as you want. To me that looks about good. And you're, you can kind of tell it's sticking up right now. You can, you can add additional wraps to help push it back. I'll show you how to do that. We'll clip that off, and then if you kind of pull the materials back, you can uh, make those wraps and it kind of pushes the color back a little bit. Yep, and then I'll make some kind of wraps on the eyes here, and then I'll whip finish up front here, and we'll be done. Um, super quick fly, pretty easy. Um, It'll work great for fall Chinook if you're going and doing that, which is kind of happening right now. So if you're looking for something new to try, give it a shot. Um, let us know how it works. Um, and, you know, you can swap. There's several different colors you can tie this in, you know, chartreuse. Um, you could do orange. You could do pink. You know, all sorts of different bright colors to get those fish's attention. I'm putting a little bit of Solaris bone dry on the head right now just to secure it. And you have your nuclear gotcha. Looks extra radioactive under the uh, under the uh, UV light. So let us know what you think. Thanks.